today's video, we're going to be introducing the concept of physical network topologies, and we'll be talking about their importance. So what is a physical network topology? Well, it's all about how the devices in our network physically connect together. So we're talking about taking everything on the network, we're talking about our servers, our desktops, our laptops, our routers, our switches, our hubs, and all of our cabling, and determining how we should connect that together. And there's specific topologies in place that we can follow, and so that's what we're going to talk about. Now, before we talk about their importance, the first thing I want to say is that we're not going to cover all the topologies in this section of the course, simply because we don't need to cover them for the scope of this course. However, if you do decide to go and get one of your certifications in networking, such as Network Plus or the CCENT, you're going to need to know all the different physical network topologies, and we're not going to be covering the more antiquated ones. And so ones such as the bus and the ring, those different topologies that we're not going to cover in this course. So let's go ahead and let's talk about their importance. So why are physical network topologies important? Well, first of all, it's all about planning. And when we're planning and designing a network, we need to know what type of topology is going to work best for us and for our situation and in our scenario. And also in regards to all of our constraints, maybe we have technological constraints or we have monetary constraints or we even have personnel resource constraints. So it all comes down to planning and designing the network and understanding what's going to work best for you. Another important thing is that it shows the network on a map. And so it's going to physically show where all the devices are on the network. And it's really going to show you how everything interacts with the cabling. And for somebody that's been in IT, if you've been in IT and you've been in desktop support or you've been in network support, you'll know how important this is. And when you don't have this in place, you know how difficult it can make your life. Because when you don't help know how the network's connected and you're having network issues, then not having a physical map in the network is just going to be a huge hindrance for you trying to troubleshoot those issues. So, you know, when we're talking about all that, it really comes down to when you know how everything's connected together on a physical map and how it's designed, you understand how data and information flows throughout the network. And so when we're troubleshooting, it's easier to identify what their potential problems are and we can isolate them a lot easier. And so this is what it's all about. This is why it's important. We do it because we need to have a network map. Once the network is designed, we need to have one in place for when we design it. We need to understand all our constraints and our resources and understanding how we can properly plan and design the network and what should work for us. And then when we're troubleshooting after the fact, when we're giving the network off to the system administrators and the network support personnel and the desktop support, it's important for them to have this information so they can easily troubleshoot their issues. So in the next video, we're going to start talking about some of the physical topologies. So I'll see you there.